Hi, this is Martin Davis, and this video is about improving your Sitecore site's information architecture uh, by using simple insert options. So once you've got a basic structure of a site, you're going to want to keep it under control. So for example, in my site I've got a case study section, and I want to make sure that people don't add products to it. Uh, now we can do this by selecting the configure tab, and in the ribbon that displays there's an insert options section, and we click assign. Now this dialog is going to allow us to choose the particular templates that are allowable uh, when you want to insert an item under this one. So let's choose case study category because I want to really restrict it. You can add as many templates in here as you like, but the, really the idea is restriction. So I'll just go ahead and click OK. Now when I go to insert an item in here, you can see I've got case study category as an option. Uh, there's also insert from template, but that's because I'm an admin. Most people wouldn't see that. And let's just add one in. And I can add as many as I like. So now I've got two case study sections, and I want to be able to add case studies into both. Unfortunately, at the moment, I don't have any insert options. So what I could do is uh, go to configure again and then click assign and go through the same process that I've already been. But if I had, say, 10 case study sections, I wouldn't want to have to do that for every single one. Uh, so that's why you'd use um, standard values. Let's take a look at the case study category template and look at its standard values object. So just like you can set the standard values for fields in a template, you can also set it for the insert options as well. So whenever we have a case study category item, I only want people to be able to add case studies into it. Now when we come back to our case study categories, give them a quick refresh. You can see that they've now both got case study as their insert options. Thanks for watching.